The Rio Grande Valley will play an important role in providing cleaner energy to the world. Next decade's Rio Grande LNG is a liquefied natural gas export terminal near Brownsville, Texas. Our team has significant experience developing, building, and operating projects safely and successfully around the world. This video will demonstrate a typical LNG vessel's movement in the Brownsville ship channel and provide information regarding the Rio Grande LNG project. An LNG vessel is roughly the same length as a typical tanker vessel. The vessel arrives empty and will approach the terminal from the Gulf of Mexico, entering at the Brazos-Santiago Pass. When the LNG vessel is roughly one and a half miles outside the entrance to the Brownsville ship channel, it will be met and boarded by an experienced shipping pilot from the Brazos Santiago Pilots. The pilot provides expert local navigation advice as the vessel travels in the channel. Two tugs will also meet the LNG vessel to assist in escorting the vessel safely to the Rio Grande LNG terminal. The Brazos Santiago pilots and tug captains participate in virtual LNG vessel simulations to get experience in safely piloting LNG vessels to next decade's Rio Grande LNG terminal. Next decade will continue to use this simulator to train future pilots and tug captains. The forward and aft tugs attach by rope to the LNG vessel prior to reaching the outer jetties at the entrance of the channel. LNG vessels require two tugs to escort them through the ship channel. These tugs, which assist LNG vessels with safely maneuvering the channel, are contracted exclusively to next decade and are designed to operate with LNG vessels in the Brownsville ship channel. The current speed limit for any vessel in the Brownsville ship channel is eight knots. LNG vessels will travel at a speed of between six and seven knots, or about eight miles per hour. When it comes to MV-class vessels in the Brownsville ship channel, there will be no changes to the existing practice. No two-way traffic is allowed for MV-class vessels in the channel. When an LNG vessel is in the channel, deep draft traffic, vessels requiring the depth of the dredge channel, will be restricted to whichever direction that vessel is traveling. The same rule applies to the LNG vessel if another MV-class vessel is already in the Brownsville ship channel. Vessels with a shallower draft that can operate outside the deepest part of the channel can, at the pilot's discretion, pass in either direction as long as they don't interfere with the safe navigation of the LNG vessel. Once the vessel arrives in the vicinity of the Rio Grande LNG terminal, it is met by an additional tug. The tugs help rotate the LNG vessel 180 degrees in the turning basin and position it alongside the berth to begin the LNG loading process. The Rio Grande LNG project will bring tremendous benefits to the communities across the Rio Grande Valley. During construction, the project is expected to create up to 6,000 jobs. The facility will employ about 300 permanent employees during operation. In addition, an estimated 3,000 indirect jobs are expected to be created as area restaurants, hotels, tourist attractions, and other local services benefit from the influx of employees and their families. As part of the Brazos Island Harbor Channel Improvement Project, we'll be deepening the existing channel and making other improvements that are strategically important to the port and economic growth in the Rio Grande Valley. Once the LNG vessel has been loaded, the pilot and two escort tugs will assist it back out of the Brownsville ship channel. As the LNG vessel safely exits the Brazos-Santiago Pass, the pilot disembarks and the escort tugs return back to the Rio Grande LNG terminal. The LNG vessel begins its long journey to global ports to deliver the LNG cargo. For more information on next decade's Rio Grande LNG project, visit riograndelng.com and connect with us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter.